Greetings kings and queens, my name is Pawn Precision. Welcome to Arma 3 Eden tutorial. In my last video I showed a glimpse of what was possible using the Arma 3 Eden editor. Now in case you missed it, here's a quick preview of what it looked like. video yourself you can simply click on the card in the top right corner on YouTube right over there and watch the video what I'm showing you right here is the entire scene but the way it was played was not in one take because if you play this entire thing in one take your computer will suffer for it because uh, there's a lot of actions that need to be taken and there's a lot of explosions going on and just basically if you have a medium PC your computer will probably not be able to play it at an acceptable frame rate, uh, at least not for movie making purposes or YouTube. So what I did is I made it in a couple of parts. So if you're doing this for movie making purposes or YouTube, uh, I would highly recommend that you split down your scene into simpler parts. Uh, that will just make the frame rate much, much better. Anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. How do you use the new 3D editor? Now, if you don't see this button right here, the 3D editor, next to the 2D editor, then you probably don't have the newest version of Arma installed. So, update your game and try it again. It's as simple as that. And first and foremost, you'll need to know the controls. Now, I won't go into the controls specifically in this video because it would make the video way too long, but in case you're interested, you can always pause the video to see what button I pressed at any time because I put a live view of my keyboard down in the left corner. Now, what is most important to know for you um, at the beginning stages is how to orient your point of view, simply how to move around and see what, what you want to see, how to add units and vehicles to the scene, and how to assign waypoints to the units and orient them on the battlefield. Most of this is very, very easy. You'll probably get that within half an hour just playing around with the editor. Now, the next part is setting the stage. Let's pick a nice place for the scenario to play out in. We could have it here, we could have it there, we could have it anywhere we want. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go with the graveyard right here. That'll do nicely. Now we need to set the mood right. Uh, what time of day it should be. Uh, what should the weather be like? Uh, should it be raining? Should it be lightning, storm, fog? You know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and that's simply done by clicking the, the weather icon over here. So, for our purposes, we're gonna have it uh, during the evening, and maybe we're gonna have some rain. Yeah, let's have rain. And I think, I think that's good for now. Now, the next thing that you wanna do is basically set up the scenario. Who do you want to do what? Who's gonna stand where and what's gonna happen? Now, for our purposes, we're going to have a hostage situation in a graveyard. So this is the bad guy, and I'm going to be playing him. And we're going to have some civilians. So, civilian, 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 put civilian one backer here maybe, and a scientist, because why not? Now, there's it's not a graveyard without a, without a priest, so we're going to put a civilian here make a face this way and let's see we're gonna change his appearance using the arsenal and I have actually a pre-made priest here all right looking good looking good now once you have a couple of units set up you can start to plan out the overall flow of the scenario now what I mean by flow is the overall movement and logic of all the units on the battlefield uh, because let's just take an example of what happens if I just play this as it is right now I just put all the units down and kind of move them around uh, group these together and that's basically all I, all I did so if I play this 
we're gonna see I'm just looking around and oh they see me and they just start firing immediately and they kill me so that's not fun now what we could do is we could simply move me back here so that so that they won't see me and we could maybe make these guys walk over here so so they won't see me and I won't see them and well what's the fun in that because nothing happens so instead we're gonna do some logic we're gonna add some logic to the scene uh, the way we're gonna do this is by using triggers now triggers do exactly what the word implies they trigger a specific action to happen now for example I want these units to kill me only if I step outside so if I open this gate and step outside they only kill me then now the way I would do that is I would simply add the trigger and I would put the size of it um, let's say 2 by 4 and have it a square let's see how big that is it's maybe too big so that's 1 by 3 that's fine and then we can shift click to kind of move it around and let's put it so that when I move through the trigger they do something all right so the way I would do that is you double click on the trigger and you set the behavior and um, so we want it activated only by blue four which is me I am a blue four and it activates when a blue four is present now you could also have it not present for example if you leave the area then they kill me so we're gonna put it to present and click OK and then we just need to link these guys to the trigger so that they don't shoot me unless I step through the gate all right so the way I would do that is simply shift clicking making a waypoint I'm just gonna put the waypoint like a meter in front of them um, and then we're gonna connect that waypoint set waypoint activation to the trigger so this means that when this trigger gets activated they do the next move and the next move has not yet been decided so we're gonna make them simply let's see so we're gonna make them seek and destroy anything over here if I play this right now they'll just kill me right away because they are set to open fire so you want to se select the group and that's the kind of diamond thing over here and you say forced hold fire now they won't kill me now they won't attack me at all and I'll say company mode forced hold fire uh, on this waypoint over here I also selected forced hold fire so when they reach this waypoint um, they are holding fire this trigger gets activated and they seek and destroy combat mode open fire behavior combat all right let's see what happens now now the priest is giving his speech as you can see he's like what the hell are you doing he's dancing anyway okay so let's move over here and we see that our guys are just standing there they're just looking around so let's open this and beautiful beautiful so that works now maybe you don't want the guys to kill you right away as you activate the trigger and uh, because you want to speak to their leader or whatever <laughs> whatever the reason might be uh, so we're gonna put a timer on this so we double click on the trigger we see the timer and we put let's say 10 seconds and this here explains why you need to put it three times in uh, the difference between countdown and time out timeout is basically you need to be in the trigger for 10 seconds and then the trigger will activate whilst as the countdown 
will count down as soon as you trigger it. When you walk through the trigger, it will count down for 10 seconds and then it will activate. So let's see how this one goes. So let's see if the... Yeah, he, he's still dancing. Yeah, he likes this. He likes the new Eaton editor. So, you can say, hey guys, I need to speak to your leader. Are you the leader? Now, I don't like you. You're a very, very bad man, and you're also a bad man. So, uh, I'm just gonna kill you. Or should I kill you? So that's how you add a countdown. That's very simple. Just using these very, very few simple mechanics, you can start to see the things that you could actually do with this. Um, there's a lot of lot of different possibilities. Um, maybe you could do a hostage situation uh, scenario. Uh, you could uh, do a prison escape. You could do you know anything anything that your mind can want or do. And there are a bunch of different uh, waypoints which you could actually add to the scenario. Now some of these don't actually work, or either that or I don't know how to use them because I've tried to use the, some of these. For example, the hold. Um, command it just simply doesn't seem to work the guys can run around and do all sorts of crazy stuff walk through walls and stuff um, and there are other kinds of uh, game logic which you could actually get into here but I'm not gonna talk about that in this video just the general recommendations which I would recommend to you is running a very complicated scene will slow it down your computer and your FPS, you will definitely see it on your FPS because it will suffer greatly. So if you're using the Eden editor for video making purposes, I would highly recommend that you divide your scenes down into a couple of parts. Then you could use very simple video editing to stitch the storyline together. Now this is basically all you need to know to make your first scene. You can make some really cool uh, scenarios using this editor. I mean, I highly recommend that you check out the systems here and F5. Um, and I mean, you can create very, very complicated and very cool and fun game modes using this. Defend, Game Master, Section Control, Seize, you know, I mean, there's endless possibilities here. So this is it for the video. If you want to see anything specific, if you want to see more uh, cinematic videos on Arma 3, uh, I would love to do it. So just let me know. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the lighthouse.